All right, what's up guys? So I was just going through or starting to go through at least the two entire videos um, or clips rather for the whole painting of the 240. And when I first opened the folder, I realized I hadn't made an intro yet. So this is gonna be the intro to the, hopefully both of them. Um, at least I think the second one I actually did make an intro to the first one, unfortunately I forgot to. I just was kind of rushing the entire thing um filming wise the painting also kind of rushed no not even gonna lie um but that's besides the point i just wanted to give you guys a little intro it's going to be a two-part video and it's basically just going to be me painting or primering at least the entire 240 i got it all one color and i'm actually pleased with how it came out it sits pretty nice um this is just basically the first step of a long way to go unfortunately but it's all one color now so that's sick and paint will be coming really soon um just kind of waiting for goodwin we're going to paint both of our cars at the same time uh go check out his channel i have the link to his channel in the description below he's in the process of completely building his rb so be on the lookout for that once that's done both of us are going to hammer out both our cars and hopefully make it to an event in time um this year so Without further ado guys, here is the video now. Okay, so this is like the little setup I got right now for the smaller pieces. Um, took the gas door off, did the gas door, had to sand a bunch of the chipping paint off, but it looks pretty good now. Um, my new door handle, because the one that's on the car currently is broken in this section right here. In this section right here so the whole thing just flops around on the car but this is a brand new one and then we got the two B pillars right here that are primed and ready to go basically what I'm gonna do is the whole car is gonna be white so the whole car is gonna be white for now and then whenever me and Gohan decide to paint both of our cars then we'll both just lay base on our cars his car's already white and needs a little bit of body work and then he's gonna just primer those sections scuff the whole car down and then lay primer and paint so that'll be a whole other thing but i'm just kind of getting my car ready that way all he'll have to do is lay base and clear and then i'll buff it like a month down the road um i won't be painting the car the actual color uh for a while so it'll be white for a long time not a long time, but like at least a couple months probably. Uh, yeah, other than that, I got those pieces done. Goodwin knows this. Painting screws. Both the headlight covers and then my roof wing, which won't go back on the car until it's actually ready to be painted because I don't feel like putting 3M tape, taking it off, scraping all the tape off, and then putting more on. Like, I'm just gonna leave it off the car now. So what I'm gonna do is go set up in the backyard and probably start with the rear bumper, I feel like today. Rear bumper, and then while that's drying, like the first couple of coats, I'll bring the fender out and I'll start working with fiberglass on that. And yeah, I'll get started, we'll see how the day goes. All right, so this is the setup I got going on right now. It's on the stand. There's still like some little spots that have like some wrap left. Probably either just scrape those off or if they're not coming off, I'll just sand them down. Um, one thing I have to do is try to figure out what I'm gonna do with this. So this burnt up lip section right here, I think I'm just gonna cut it off, sand it flat and then Probably honestly just not worry about it until right before I paint because I feel like it's just going to end up burning through again. So I don't think I'm really going to touch it minus just like getting this lip. Sand everything and throw some primer on it. I've never used a KBD bumper so I don't know how they hold paint to be honest. Because um, paint doesn't stretch obviously like wrap wood. So I guess I'll just, it'll just be something I have to like kind of, kind of play it by ear. There's still some wrap like down here, but honestly the car is going to be so low that 
it's not I, I feel like it's not even worth like really trying to take off like all that burnt stuff down there no shot I'm gonna try to take that off I'm just gonna sand it and then I'll paint all right so the first coat is on just like a guide coat I guess so that uh, I can start laying it on heavier uh, kind of got a little closer right here I don't know if you can see it really really runny but this thing needs like two or three more coats anyways at least and then if it's still runny in that's that one spot I don't go as crazy in the next two times then like if it's still runny I'll just sand it down because this is just primer it's not it's not the actual paint so not too worried about it just trying to get it all one color and then I'll see how it looks so all right so second full coat is on it's dripping in this area because I got a little bit too close a few times and now it's just running off because of how hot it is outside today um, but it's definitely looking a lot better a lot better I actually feel like I might need to go uh, back to Home Depot and get more primer though because I used I already used well, it was probably like half in here to be honest because last night is when I did the pillars and the, um, redid the gas door and I think one of the other parts in there oh the wing so that was like all half because it wasn't really those pieces aren't that big but I used the half for the first coat and then not about a half with the second can so one full can got me to this um, I was kind of estimating it was going to be one full can per piece so like fenders like one can of fender one can a quarter I don't know why I thought this would be one can but clearly it's obviously not um, definitely going to use the rest of that so that'll be one and a half and then probably another half can after that so front and rear bumper probably like almost two cans each but the quarters and the fenders should be about one can um, and then the side skirts will probably be maybe one and a half so I just kind of have to do some math see how many cans I have left I think I have like eight left so I might need to go get some more but other than that not too shabby for just painting literally in my backyard um, so I'm gonna let this sit for about I'll let this sit for about 10 minutes and I'm gonna come back lay another coat on see how it's looking and I'll probably get started on the fiberglass for the fenders all right so this is already looking really good um, minus like the drip marks that I fucked up with and this little spot right here that I really really dripped and I tried to wipe it and just repaint it but Again, this, none of this really has to be perfect. I just wanted everything one color because this is just primer. And I do have to sand literally everything over again before I lay the base coat on. So for now, it's all white. That's what matters. Um, I'm gonna let this, I'm gonna put this to the side, let it dry for, dry for quite a while, and then turn it around, flip it over, look everywhere, and see if I wanna repaint anything. While that's drying, I'm gonna start but these, you can see here, there's a crack, and on this one, there's a crack right there, and a crack right there. Um, also, there's another, another spot, I don't remember where it was, maybe it's on the quarter panel. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to sand these down with some 80 grit, uh, so that the Bondo, or the fiberglass rather, can adhere really good. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna start sanding these and then I'll do the fiberglass, so. All right, so I just scuffed these two points down and the other one is already inside with this 80 grit like sanding sponge. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is just wipe it off with some alcohol, bring it inside and I'll work with the fiberglass. Okay, so what I did was these stress cracks area right here, I just kind of put it on and 
let it drip because I can always sand this stuff down later. Same thing right here, I just tried to fill in as much of the stress cracks as I could. Over here, I just tried to glop it up and really put it in there with the um, popsicle stick that came with the kit. Um, over here, the stress crack area, I'm not too worried about. It doesn't look that bad. It was at least not as bad as all of those. Um, but yeah, this area right here, I just filled in as much as possible and I can always sand that stuff down later. And then coming over here, I filled this in, if it'll focus, this crack in with some resin, and it was a lot more spread apart, so I kind of pushed it together with my calipers, and just have them chilling right there because they were heavy, and I pushed this side in and that side in to get it to line up and squish together. This was just more of a stress crack than anything, but I filled it in anyways since I was right here. Um, over here, you can't really see it, there's like a little spot right there, I filled that in, so I'm just going to let these dry overnight and I'll sand them down tomorrow and paint them tomorrow along with the car. Alright, well, what is up guys, so it is another day, it's actually two days later since I've filmed. Um, yesterday it was raining pretty hard all day, so I didn't get... <coughs> So I didn't really get to touch the car or any of the body panels or anything. Um, but today what I'm going to be doing is actually the car itself. So I'm going to be doing the hood, the roof, the doors, quarters, trunk, etc. And if I have any time left, then what I'll be doing is working on some of the body panels because they need a little bit of a, a wet sand and then I'm going to put more primer on because there's some low spots and some high spots. Um, and I might even have to bondo a couple of the pieces, but I'll get to that when when the time comes. For now, I'm going to wash the car down with um, just plain dish soap. That way it can get rid of whatever wax and grease is left on the car. Um, you should never use like proper car washing soap before you're, you're going to paint because that adds wax or adds some kind of coating to the paint that you don't want to be there. Um, so I'm basically stripping the paint of all wax and grease and anything that could be there. Um, that way it makes it a lot easier for me when I go to paint it. So let's get started with that first. Alright guys, so I just cleaned the car. Made, to sure, made sure to get everywhere with the Dawn, with the dish soap. So now what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to take, I forgot that I could take off two more pieces um, and bring them in the backyard, just make my life a lot easier, save me a lot of time out here up front where all the rest of the cars are, I don't, don't want to get any paint on. Um, so the two pieces I'm going to take in the backyard are actually the hood and the rear center valence piece that goes underneath the, the, underneath the tail lights. Um, so I'm going to take that and the hood while the car is drying. It'll give the car time to dry anyways. Um, and then once I'm done with both of those things, ho hopefully the car will be dry and we can get started. I'll probably start with uh, the trunk because that's the smallest piece and I'll just work my way forward um, doing the top first. So the hood will already be done, the roof and the trunk. And then once I'm done with both of those things, I will move on to both the doors and then the quarters. The quarters don't need all that much paint. Um, let me show you what I'm working with here that I have to fix. This is what it looks like underneath. It's just kind of self tap, um, self tapped the flaps in. Now my idea, well Goodwin's idea rather that he had was to actually cut, take the self tappers out and cut all the flaps to a point where I can use the the rest of them to just grind down and maybe either have him weld them to the rest of the car or bondo them. But I'll, I'll figure that out. For right now what I'm going to do is, you don't see this stuff anyways because of the quarters, so I'm just going to paint up to like here where this black line is and then I'll figure it out from there. Alright, so I just laid on the first couple layers a little guide layer and then a heavier layer on the center valence piece and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to let this dry and then I'll come back and 
I will look at it and make sure all the spots are covered and any spots that aren't covered I'll just lay some more paint on and then that piece will be done um, but while this is drying I'm gonna go and grab the hood all right what's up guys so quick little update I did finish that center piece it needed like one small extra coat like I said it might um, so that's inside completely done and then I just started like a guide coat on the hood I sanded every, all the high spots and chipping paint off so it's looking pretty good um, I might have to go over this again because it looks like it was cut into with a knife maybe when it was getting wrapped I'm not sure but my goal right now is to just get everything covered with paint and that way I can actually see all the imperfections and then from there what I'll do is I'll sand everything down that's chipping like that or high spots whatever um, at least it'll all be one color so I'll be able to see everything a lot better because before the green is like kind of hard to tell what's going on with the paint and everything um, but yeah so it's looking pretty good right now and then once I'm done with this I'll once it's like completely covered and done drying then then I'll move on to the actual car I'll just let this dry here in the backyard um, so yeah I guess I probably look like a mess right now because I haven't really updated you guys. I've been trying to just crank it out. Sun's going down, so I'm trying to get as much done as I possibly can while everything's still taped up and covered. Um, so right now, all I've done so far is I finished the trunk and the roof completely. So here's the roof, it's still drying. Whole car is taped up, very crappy, but covered and taped nonetheless. Um, trunk is done. I do need to sand this spot down flat and probably bondo it. Same thing with here, here, and here. But for now, like I said, I'm just getting everything one color. That way I can see what's good with everything else. Um, did the inside where the pillars go. And like I said, roof drying again. Bondo probably up here. And there's one spot over there. But for now, I'm just going to keep cranking away. And I'll update you guys once I'm done or... If I have something to update on, then I'll turn the camera on and grab it. Okay, so real quick, before my camera does, and before the sun goes down, this is all my progress. I'm just waiting for it to dry before I'm going to do the last touch-up layer. Everything's pretty much covered, give or take maybe a couple spots that I may have missed, but I'm going to go over them right now, so I'll catch back when I grab another battery. So here it is. It's all one color for the most part, minus the body kit. Everything is white. Hood is done. There's a bunch of dust on here from uh, doing the doors and stuff. Same thing with the roof, a bunch of dust that just wipes off, so it'll be fine. Um, the doors are 100% done. Uh, I kind of did a little bit of a rocker panel too. I didn't go crazy with the quarter, like I missed all of this, because this will be covered anyways. Um, did all like the line that you'll actually see that's exposed is pretty much just this line right here, down there. Um, and even then like it's not really gonna be exposed at all with the body kit on so again I didn't like touch this stuff up or anything. I just kind of Did what was necessary. I didn't feel like wasting all that paint, but Everything looks pretty good to me at least And then I even like did this little design, it's a Signal 12 for me and Goins Company. But... So yeah guys, that's going to kind of finish it up for this video. Um, I did order a couple things for the SR because it has been having a little bit of a lean issue. Um, so I'm going to try to diagnose that as best as I can. One second, I'm going to close the garage. Yeah, it's been having a little bit of a lean issue, so I'm gonna like try to diagnose it as best as I can. But um, I think it has something to do with fueling. I think maybe the fuel filter is clogged, or the uh, fuel pressure regulator is just like kind of clapped. And um, I ordered a new fuel filter, the same one that I have on there is an ISR performance one. But yeah, guys, so that'll be other videos um, diagnosing the lean and everything. So be on the lookout for those if you guys are having the same issue. I know a lot of people on here are probably majority truck people, but maybe a bunch of 240 people will end up watching this video. So my channel will also have that diagnosing the problem very soon, as soon as the parts come in. But for now, guys, I'm going to crank out the 
next video right now actually once I'm done with this one filming the rest of me doing the body kit so as always guys like comment subscribe I appreciate all the, the feedback so leave comments go to my Instagram my Instagram is in the next screen but yeah guys cars finally one color so I'm super stoked on that be on the lookout for the next videos coming very soon to see the finished product of the car peace yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been down bad, I've been broke before, yeah, dog, I couldn't even quote, yeah, 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 this song right here.